Hello friends and I welcome to all of you in this new video. Today I am going to discuss Ishini Veera Singhe scam. So friends, what all scam came into notice about Ishini Veera Singhe? Let's know. So do watch this video till the end to know all about the thick and thin details of this scam. So friends, the Ishini Veera Singhe, who is reported to have withdrawn the funds to the tune of Rs 15 million in mid-June 2019, has denied the allegation and has claimed that she has faced several difficulties in dispersing the cash to the victims due to politics within various churches and a delay in receiving receipts of the donation. So how the social media is backlashing Ishini Veera Singhe, I would tell you but before that i request you to do like this video share the video and subscribe the channel as well as i'm going to bring you many more informative videos like this so friends coming back social media has called on ishini veera singhe to respond to the allegation which has been raised with regard to the scandal trending on social media platforms as ishini gate so basically this scandal came into limelight when the people on the twitter started back lashing ishini veera singer so there are many posts that has been written on the twitter and other social media platforms like uh, by the name of ishini gate hashtag that identified some victims who fit her description and there are a lot many backlashes on the twitter so basically it's a totally scam the canada-based sri lankan social media influencer ishini veera singha has faced backlash after backlash and he has been accused of siphoning money under the guise of a fundraiser for the victims of the 2019 easter sunday terror attacks veera singha is reported to have launched the fundraiser by the gofundme.com platform on 21st april 2019 with many donors having leveled allegation against the influencer accusing her of symphoning nearly 82 millions that is 82882 dollars so it's quite a huge amount and therefore it's quite a big can. So friends, meanwhile the church said that they have requested for a refund stating that she was visiting Sri Lanka and would like to disperse the cash to some Easter Sunday attacks victim with whom she has personally made contact. The church further called on Ishini Veera Singhe to retract her various statements made with regard to the church of the Foursquare Gaspol on social media. So friends, this is all about Ishini Veera Singhe's scam and how she took the money in the name of the fund raising. So what do you feel about this high scam? Do mention it in the comment section. Also, we keep on reading your comments each day. So keep commenting. Please like this video. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe our channel today. So friends, be informed and be safe.